converting slow cooker cooking times can be difficult. Home cooks and chefs often find themselves at a loss on how to convert slow cookers into other cooking methods like gas or electric stovetops. It's not as easy as it seems. This video will go over the different conversion temperatures, why they exist, and how you can use these conversions to your advantage in the kitchen. At OvenSpot we help you to with tips and how-to information, so you can successfully use your cookware of choice to its full potential. Keep watching and be sure to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Slow cookers make cooking meals easy and convenient because we can chop, set, forget, and even keep the dish warm. Recipes made for slow cookers can easily be converted to work either on a stovetop, in an oven, or even a pressure cooker or instant pot without much fuss. Understanding the difference between the temperatures at which your food will cook in a slow cooker, on the stove, and in the oven helps you accurately convert the cooking time. Slow cookers use moisture and semi-hot temperatures to gradually and evenly cook meals. The fitted lids keep the heat in while the dish simmers away. Whereas stoves and ovens accelerate the process with direct heat and higher temperatures. Many slow cookers don't show their temperatures. They'll have low, medium, and high settings. Check the provided user's manual to determine the exact temperature for each selection. Slow cookers allow food to soak up spices, vegetables, broths, and more. Reaching the desired temperature and timing makes a world of difference. With that in mind, let's take a look at how you can convert your recipes to cook delicious food with any of these three appliances. Convert slow cooker times to the oven and stovetop by following these guidelines. One and a half to two and a half hours on high or four to six hours on low in a slow cooker is equal to 15 to 30 minutes in an oven or stovetop. Two to three hours on high or six to eight hours on low in a slow cooker is equal to 35 to 45 minutes in an oven or on the stovetop. Four to six hours on high or eight to 12 hours on low in a slow cooker is equal to 50 minutes to three hours in an oven or stovetop. Since the temperatures and available cooking settings on the appliances vary greatly, it can be challenging to create an accurate conversion formula that works every time. However, there are some general guidelines you can use to convert your cook times between these appliances. Each food is different, and there will always be some exceptions, as different meat cuts have different cooking specifications. The following cuts will cook best if you braise them in a covered pot at roughly 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. You can braise chicken breasts on the stove for one and a half hours instead of two hours in a slow cooker. Cubed meats will have roughly the same cooking time in an oven as in a slow cooker. Larger meat cuts can be cooked for three to four hours in the oven instead of four hours on high or eight hours on low in a slow cooker. Increase the oven or slow cooker time per pound of meat cooked. Finally, it is essential to remember that slow cookers do not lose much moisture throughout their cooking time, whereas cooking in an oven or on the stove does. Therefore, when converting a slow cooker recipe to an oven or stovetop, you should add half to one cup of liquid. I have an article on the OvenSpot website that teaches you how to slow cook without a slow cooker it's easy. I will leave a link in the show notes. Cooking food to perfection seems more of a science than an art, and things can get complicated when you convert a recipe that is made for one type of appliance to another. Many recipes are designed specifically for a slow cooker, as the moisture retention and temperature are perfect for tough-to-cook meats. So when you don't have the time to use a slow cooker, or you don't own a slow cooker, and want to use your oven instead follow these conversions for a great meal every time. I have left a link in the show notes below for you to refer to the full article at ovenspot.com. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more useful information about your favorite cooking pot or appliance.